Well, we're in St. Louis. Yes, we have arrived. Leslie's first time in St. Louis. That's right. I've been to St. Louis when I was younger. Yeah, I was going to say a kid, right? But I've never been to Union Station. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even I actually know that they had a Union Station here. Yeah. So now we've gone to the one in Kansas City, so now it's time to go and look and see what the one in St. Louis looks like. It looks like. very cool. I like it, it looks really cool. Lots of cool looking restaurants. Yeah, an aquarium, restaurants, a soda fountain. Candy, booze, candy, beer, beer, and burgers. burgers. Like, you got me. All my favorites. <laughs> I don't know what else I would need, I know. honestly. Don't need to leave this area. <laughs> Let's go get some of all of that. Okay. All right, Le Leslie's got food. Wow. She got, there's a bunch over here too. Is there? Yeah, look at that. She about to make these things go crazy. There's so many koi here, it's crazy. They're coming from all over the freaking lake here to, to come right here just for a few little pebbles of dog food or cat food or whatever it is. We're on the inside now. It looks like they got an aquarium. They got like a high ropes course up there. People are climbing around and stuff. Oh, look at that, look at that. People flying across here. A little shopping center. They got a mirror maze up here. A little spot for the kids to play around. Well, not a whole lot going on unless you want to do the aquarium or the high ropes course in there. Correct. A couple restaurants yeah. and stuff. Nice but, restaurants actually. And then they have some like carnival stuff. They have a Ferris wheel. And then they have Carousel. some little rides yeah. and stuff. But uh, what we're waiting on is they have a fountain show here at the top of the hour every hour. And when we were coming in and parked, it was just ending. ending. Yeah. So we got to see a little bit of the end. But I wanted yeah. to see more of it, so we're hanging out. We've got about 15 minutes to go. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool, but I think it would have been even better at night. Oh, yeah. Because they had like the strobe lights that are on these pillars back here. Yeah. And then back there in the restaurant, they had like little glittery Sink. things that were coming down. Yeah. And then all the fires coming up, it was synced to the music. I can't show the music because it's copyright protected. But yeah. during the show, no. I thought this bird was going to get hit by the flames. I this crane. Sense. He's flying through there. He's like dodging flames. And then he grabs a a fish it was sad and then he goes over and he starts eating the fish oh. and he's like uh, yeah, getting it down uh, uh, and then you can see the fish kicking in his neck like oh my gosh <laughs> and i'm like oh that fish is panicking <laughs> i'd be panicking too but and you can just see it flop uh, around it and he terrible. just got him all the way down uh, oh man i know it's the circle of life but yeah i like to pretend the circle's not there <laughs> It was pretty crazy. You don't want to see it. You know what happens, but you don't really want to see it. It would have been crazy if he had grabbed the fish and then got hit by a flame <laughs> and then the fish escaped. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going up there. <laughs> yeah. It's Are you fun. scared of heights? No. no. Oh, so you're good then? Yeah. Are you claustrophobic? No. Well, you're good then? Yeah. The St. Louis Arch is 630 feet tall. So just to give you some perspective, Statue of Liberty is 305 feet tall. So more than two times as high as the Statue of Liberty. It gives you some other references to the Redwoods, the Sequoias, uh, Rainbow Bridge, the White House. And then you can see how, that, how it is in relation to those. And then over here on this side, it compares it to um, Old Faithful, Mount Rushmore. And then the Washington Monument is, is 555 feet tall. So that is the what would be the next tallest thing in comparison to the arch. So the arch is, is about 50 feet taller than the Washington Monument. All right, they have a display here. This is the, this is the elevator. This is the pod that we're gonna be in. And so this is where we're gonna be seated in there. <laughs> That's gonna be tight quarters going up there to the top of the arch today. And Leslie has an interesting fact. A little factoid for you about the arch. It is interesting that it was designed to be able to sway 18 inches in in the case of an earthquake. 18 inches is a lot. That's yeah, a lot of wiggle room. Foot and a half. Yeah, that's a lot of movement in a building. Especially when you're up that high yeah. for that to sway. And so a lot of people don't know that Missouri, there are fault lines in Missouri. Yeah. The New Madrid fault line is not too far away from here. And so there are earthquakes that happen here in Missouri. When I was growing up here in Missouri, I um, lived through a couple earthquakes. Could Not you, big ones, but... Could you imagine being on there? a tour when one happened and it swayed 18 inches? I would lose my mind. <laughs> like, this is it. This is how we go out. We're dying today. But we'd be infamous. 
Yeah. Our names will forever be etched in history as part of the group that died on the arch during the earthquake. So I should take comfort in that. As well. well, it's something. You gotta hunt the good stuff, man. You gotta look for the silver lining. I thought you were a glass half full girl. You said that a couple videos ago, I it, think. It depends on the day. <laughs> Sometimes I am a half empty kind of gal. <laughs> Today, we're half empty because we don't want to die on the arch. <laughs> we don't want to die on the arch. See, now look what you did. Now we're getting ready to go open for the arch and look at our tickets. And then a few more. I didn't do it. You put the juju on us, man. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Now there's going to be an earthquake. You're almost tired No, I'm, I'm half full again. We're half full again. Okay, we're half full again. Here we go. <laughs> They just took our picture upstairs. They said it was for like um, souvenir. I'm not convinced. So now you're half empty, huh? Yeah, I think maybe it's in case something happens, they can identify the carnage. Uh, that was that was pod six. Yeah. So these are the faces of the fallen. <laughs> Send them to Washington for identification. I know. So there's eight. Eight pods that go up. This is our door here that we'll be going in. It's gonna be pretty snug today I'm gonna in the car. Really slow. Short breaths. Short breaths. There's no ventilation. There is up there. Yeah, there's ventilation. And you're up down here. If anybody freaks out, <laughs> yeah, I want out. Give me all this <laughs> If you are claustrophobic. In any way, <laughs> even even closely claustrophobic, yeah. not the spot for you because there's whoa. There's the stairs. Oh, you can see the stairs out there. It's um, like a Ferris wheel ride. It yeah. is. This thing's like rocking and moving as we're going up, just because of the shape of the arch. And uh, there's no there's window by the door here, yeah. which you can see in like you can see like service stuff and stairways yeah. and stuff. But you're not seeing outside of the arch at all. It's a four minute ride up and a three minute ride down. Unless this fails, then it's like a 20 second ride down. <laughs> Coming in hot. This is the view facing east. There's the Mississippi River. And that is all east of St. Louis on that side of the arch. 630 feet up in the air. And this is out west. You can see the shadow of the arch down there. It's pretty cool. But look, that's a... Uh, man, that's awesome on this side. And this is the Missouri side of St. Louis. What I just showed you before was the Illinois side on the other side of the Mississippi. And uh, man, it is very cool up here. You see the, see the Cardinals baseball stadium over there, Bush Stadium. They told us while we were downstairs that the arch is also 630 feet wide. So it is just as wide as it is tall. It's very cool up here. Yeah, I prefer the west side where yeah. you can see the city. Yeah. The old courthouse, the Bush Stadium, yes. the old Beautiful. St. Louis Rams. Uh, stadium. Yeah. Um, man, it's just really cool. Yeah. I mean, the water side is pretty too, but yeah. all the city glory is up there. Right, actually, St. Louis has a really beautiful skyline. You really do. And a lot of that is because of the arch. It makes it look very unique and very cool. Yeah. It's awesome. Our time up here is over. Yep. Back in the pot. Back to the pot we go. <laughs> This is a replica of the keystone piece, which would be the center piece, the last piece they put in when they were building the arch. We don't ever buy souvenirs at places like this, but I thought these were really cool. These are cable arches made out of cable that actually pulled the cable cars to the top of the arch at one point. All right, Leslie's gonna show us how the little tram pod thing works to get to the top and, and down from the arch. I feel like we were going faster than that. <laughs> there you go. 
The camera does not do this justice at all. No. But this thing is just freaking ginormous. Yeah. I'm standing in the shadow so I don't get that sun in the shot. Now we're street level of the old courthouse. We can see this from up in the arch, but this is one of only two buildings that survived the big fire in the mid 1800s here in St. Louis that almost wiped out the whole city. I don't know what the other building is, but the old courthouse is one. Not all fallen heroes are lost in combat. In fact, we're losing more veterans to suicide now than we've ever lost in combat to the tune of 22 veterans per day committing suicide. So if you or someone you know is struggling or is in crisis, dial 988 and then press 1 for some help. You'll get a qualified responder and it's always confidential. Or you can text 838-255 or chat online at the veteranscrisisline.net. We'll leave a link down below in the description to the Veterans Crisis Line. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans as we travel, everything you need to know is right down in the description also. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.